All right, guys, so starting in the left view, let's create a sketch on this 2D plane. And let's go up to the top and select the Circle Diameter Circle tool, and let's outline the wheel. So starting from the center point, let's just drag it out to about here. And once satisfied, we'll right click and select OK. Now we'll select the outline and Control C, Control V to duplicate that. And let's just slide this to match the back wheel. Now we can right click, hit OK. And let's select these two and right click and press pull these. And let's go to the front view. And it might be a good idea to turn on that reference image from the front view. Now let's give this some width. And we'll go over to the right and hit OK once satisfied. Now we'll go to the bodies drop down so we can select the tires. And we'll move these to match the reference a bit better. Once satisfied, we hit OK. And now is a good time to go to Create Mirror. And let's just mirror these on the opposite end. So let's select both these bodies. And now we'll rotate around for the mirror line will be this plane here. And now let's hit OK to confirm that. All right, guys, so back in the left view, let's create a sketch on this plane. And let's use this two point rectangle icon above and let's just outline the primitive shape of the main body here. So starting from the bottom corner here, we're just gonna go up and to the right and about here looks fine. And what I'm trying to go for is I want to have the, the top line kind of match the peak of the highest point of the body. And I'm going to drag this line to match the lowest point. Now I'll use this uh, line tool here and I'll just further match the reference. And then I'll go down. Actually, I'll use the trim icon and I'll just clip off this bottom line here. And I'll right click, hit OK. Let's just move this point back so it matches the top point. And let's use the line tool and we'll just draw a line from point to point. Now that should close out this. Now we can just select this profile and just press pull. And let's go to the front view really quick so we can better match the width of the vehicle. And we'll just slide this arrow down to match on the sides. We're not going to worry about the other side as well. So set that to new body, hit OK. Now we can select this, this surface here and create a sketch. Now we're going to go to create and select uh, arc, three point arc. And from this point to the bottom point, and we're going to create this arc that matches the reference. Now we can right click, hit OK. And let's just press pull this in. So we're just going to pull this extending beyond the the wheel here and ensure the function is set to new body so change it from cut so we don't cut through that wheel and now we're going to go to combine and let's combine this main body with that piece we just created and let's set it to cut now we have that cut out we can now select this surface and create a sketch and i'm going to go up to the top and grab this line tool and i'm just going to follow the reference and the way i do it is so i'll draw a line here and i'll right click to hit OK, now I'll select the spline tool. And notice I like to transition to the different uh, sketching tools as I see the line starts to transition. And I definitely suggest you guys do the same thing or you know, if there's a faster way, definitely leave me a comment to let me know so we can all learn together. And I'll just use the arc tool from this point. So I'll go to create, select arc, three point arc. And from this point to where I see the line start to end the transition, I'll stop it there and I'll just use the line tool from that point to go up. Now we can end sketch. And what I'll now do is go to uh, modify split body. And I'm going to split this main body by the line we just created. Now I'll go to the body and I'll just remove it. We can now go to create sketch and select the plane for the 2D background. And let's go to the line tool above and let's follow this reference. And it doesn't matter how far you make the line because the line's infinite. So let's end the sketch. And let's go to modify split body, choose our body. And for the splitting tool, we'll choose this line we just created. Now what this allows us to do is go to modify draft and we'll left click hold until we see the inside face selected. And for the second thing to select, we'll select this surface here. And we can use the widget to uh, draft here. So let's go to the top view and uh, turn on this reference. And surprisingly, uh, that matches the reference pretty good. So back on the left view, we'll just hit the hotkey F to bring up fillet mode and we'll select this corner. And let's drag this arrow to round it off a bit. Now let's go back to the front view and we can start working on the grill. 
So let's select this surface here and let's create a sketch. And like we did before guys, we're gonna be using the sketching tools where we see the transitions. So I'll start from the center line with the line tool and I'll just draw and trace the border of the reference. And where I see it change like here, I'll stop and I'll go to create, use that three point arc and I'll just follow the reference. It's really simple stuff guys. So you guys will get used to this and it'll become muscle memory. Now we can select this plane and we'll just right click, press pull. Let's press pull this inwards towards the model and let's set the operation from cut to new body. Now let's go over to the left side to the body and we're just gonna control C, control V to duplicate that. Now let's toggle one off. Now let's combine the main body with one of the copies and set it to cut. Now we can toggle that body we turned off back on and let's just move this back. So right click and go to move and let's slide this back a little bit so we have some manufactured detail. Now let's hit OK and let's go back to the front view and let's select this surface so we can start creating some of this detail. So let's create a sketch. Now let's use our circle diameter circle to match this circular uh, point on the reference. So now we're just going to be uh, using our sketching tools to outline these uh, references here. So let's copy this circle and let's control C, control V. And let's slide this over here to the smaller one and let's make this smaller by holding it and pulling it inwards. And I want to use the slot uh, sketch tool now. So we're going to create slot, uh, center to center slot. And we can start in the middle of the arc and click, go down and let's uh, click once again. And then we'll just drag outwards to create that first reference of the slot. Now I want to duplicate this along. So we're going to create pattern and let's uh, deselect this circle and double click to select the entire and let's just slide this over and we can adjust the quantity as well so we can uh, better match the reference. Uh, I can't actually see how many slots there are but I'll just go with this amount and once satisfied we'll just hit OK to uh, confirm that. Now we're going to select all of these profiles and we're going to right click and go to press pull and let's press pull these inwards so we can get the boolean. But we don't want to set it to cut, we want new body for now. And we'll just combine these like so. Select the main body and let's select these sub bodies here to be the cutout boolean pieces. Ensure the operation is on cut and hit OK. Now let's make our way to the left side and toggle off the canvas so we can get a better look at this. Now I'll hit the create drop down and select mirror. And let's grab these three bodies. And for the mirror line, we're going to choose this plane here so we can better piece this thing together. Now let's hit the hotkey F on the keyboard to go into fillet mode and we'll select these two edges and we'll just round these off a bit. Let me rotate this canvas a bit and let's just pull this arrow a bit back to get a sharper edge. And once we're satisfied, just hit OK. And I think this is a good place to actually wrap up this video, uh, part one of the blocking out. And the next video will wrap up the blocking out phase. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.